This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. It is officially Jacob's Rider Fight Week. I'm joined by Cyrus Patterson, who I'm guessing is going to try and steal the show this Saturday in the uh, Ali Pali. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Got uh, the six rounds against the uh, Vazem, who I was meant to box in Manchester on the Chisora on the card, but obviously that fell through because uh, of COVID. Uh, so I'm excited to get it back on with him. Now, Cyrus, just before we talk about this fight and, and what's next uh, to come for yourself, obviously I know about your amateur pedigree and your your, your stellar amateur career, but for the people who might not be informed, just tell us a little bit about it. Uh, I got on in 2015 after I got the finals of the ABAs, won the Tri Nations, won the JBs. I got on in JB and then I moved quite uh, fast from the development squad at the podium. Got sent to the, I think it was the, the Rio Olympic qualifiers uh, and I fell at the last hurdle. Josh Kelly went. Josh Kelly uh, qualified, uh, and then obviously I went into the next cycle for Tokyo when I was competing against Pat McCormack. So two great fighters that I've been competing against. So that experience is invaluable. Spent a lot of time, and now it's time for me to turn over. So you mentioned the McCormacks there. Of course, uh, they're making their way into the professional game now. We see Mark Dickinson, uh, yourself. What is it with North East, North East boxing and this rise that we're having? We're seeing the top amateurs all coming out of that part of the country. I think. Like it's just that the club built your boxing. I mean, we've had that many. If you good high level, I mean, once you bring someone from average to to high level, and if you can't compete, then you fall by the wayside. So when you've got that talent pool that's mixing constantly, you're only going to get better. Uh, Callum French, Mark Dickinson, Pat McCormack, myself, it was them spas you could sell out stadiums with do you know what I mean so they weren't very good for your brain health but well, good spas do you know what I mean I hope you're not uh, as much of a nightmare are the, the McCormacks are no comment <laughs> <laughs> you're always dressed for an occasion as well aren't you always turn up the press is smart definitely thank you um, Mark Darcy suits like um, looks after us so well, if you dress, uh, well, if you fight as half as good as you dress uh, you're winning for a treat Saturday night so yeah what can we expect uh, Cyrus uh, I'm looking to steal a show, to be honest with you. Uh, I want to put a few things right that I've we've been working on from the boss since Barcelona from my debut. Uh, I'm still adjusting into this professional side of things. It's like it is the difference between snooker and pool almost. So uh, it's about slowing your breathing down, picking your shots, looking for the openings, and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to look for the stoppage. Look forward to that. What's uh, your manager Charlie said about 2022? What does 2022 look like for Cyrus Patterson? I think we're projected for about six fights uh, this year. It's going to be really active. Obviously, starting early, get the momentum building, uh, and then maybe uh, push for an international or a title at the end of the year, the start of 2023. All right, well, listen, go well this Saturday, and I'm sure we'll catch up post fight. Hopefully, after you steal the show, Cyrus, thank you for your time, and I said good luck this Saturday, all right? Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, mate.